Thank you very much. It's nice to be here at Small Talks 2009. When I was here two years ago at the first Small Talks, uh, mine was the only presentation in English. And so I think I'll continue to get more out of the conference myself uh, as I uh, keep coming. This morning I'm going to be describing an overview of Gemstone. This is going to be an introduction to Gemstone. Um, I'm James Foster. I'm on the persistence engineering team at Gemstone. I've been programming since 1971, though only doing small talk for a little over 10 years. There's a few particular areas of Gemstone that people often have questions about. Namespaces, class versions, and some other things. So we'll, we'll be discussing that. For purposes of introducing Gemstone, I'll identify some limitations of the traditional small talks. First, the object space must fit into RAM. So you're limited in the number of objects that you can reference by how much will fit in RAM. Next, the object space is visible to only one virtual machine. So you can only interact with one object space from one virtual machine. Sharing objects between virtual machines is challenging. You need to convert it to a non-object format. Binary file outs, XML, go out to a SQL database. So to share objects, you need to convert them into something other than objects. And even with the binary file out, if you file it in, if you file out two different routes that reference the same object and then file back in, you will have two copies. So we end up not preserving object identity when we go out through an external format. And that's a challenge, that's a problem. And if the VM exits without you saving an image, then you lose the object state. So these are some limitations of traditional small talk. And I'd like to invite you to enter the magical world of Gemstone to see where object space is limited by disk rather than RAM. As much as you can fit on disk, you can have an object space that big. Your object space is shared, can be shared across multiple machine, virtual machines, and these multiple virtual machines can be running on multiple hosts, so you can distribute it. You have transactional persistence, so that when you commit a transaction, if everything crashes, you don't lose anything that you've saved through a transaction. So you don't have to go through the process of copying the entire memory space into a file. You can just on a transaction by transaction save things. So we'll go into some detail on these features. So what is Gemstone? A small talk environment? A database system? Well, it's two in one, both of those things. Gemstone is a multi-user object server. Gemstone is a programmable server object system that can manage large-scale repository of objects. Gemstone supports partitioning of an application between client and server. So you can run portions of the application on a client, portions on a server. Gemstone supports queries and indexes for large-scale object processing. So you can have millions of objects in a collection and in a millisecond find one object in a very short, short time. Supports transactions and concurrency control in the object repository. Again, pure, full database semantics. Supports connections to outside data systems. Login security and account management, some of the things that you would expect to get from a small talk, uh, excuse me, from a database system. Provides services to manage the object repository. 
and comprehensive statistics for charting and performance tuning. 